Iwolf Nation, my name is Ernie. I'm here with y'all's middle school announcements. The 7th and 8th grade pups will face Lido in Lido Thursday 14th. The 7th and 8th grade lady pups will face Lido at Lido Wednesday the 13th. And just a district reminder, just a friendly reminder, masks are encouraged on all campuses. Hello Wolf Nation, my name is Jacob and I'm here with your high school announcement. Our Lady Wolves and Wolves will have two games this week on Tuesday 11 against Catula and Friday 14 against Pove. Be sure to come out and support our Wolves and Lady Wolves. Congrats to both teams for the performances during break. Our Wolves power lifting team is set to comp compete at Natalia Wednesday, January 12th. Congrats to our Lady Wolves power lifters for the performances this past week. And here's some of the holiday action that happened at the elementary before break. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Wolf Nation. Today I'm here with Blake and Ava and also Yabia. And guys, one question. What do y'all want for Christmas this year? I want a dinosaur and a wheeler. Ooh. And you? I want, I want a cut from markers and I, uh, uh, a bike. And a bike? And you? I want a Barbie house and some baby toys and a baby closet and a baby bed. Oh, okay, how long do y'all think it takes Santa to get from the North Pole to Dilly? Hey, me, me, me. All right. Uh, the, the Dilly, uh, the Texas, the uh, maybe Santa lives uh, in the the daycare story. You think he lives in the daycare story? Yeah. All right. And how about you? Yeah, he looks like a little. He rides to Dilly. Yeah. How long do you think? How long do you think it takes him to get here? Uh, like ten miles. Ten miles. And you? The Myers State. <laughs> the Myers State. And you? And he is at the North Pole. <laughs> he lives in the North Pole. And oh, yeah. And yes. he lives at the North Pole and and the sun. And the sun. All right. Well, thank hey, y'all, guys. Hey, when it's dark, uh, Santa lives in Santa. <laughs> <laughs> and he oh. has a sleigh to do it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Good job. Ava. Ava. <laughs> and good job. Thank you. Y'all can grab a candy cane. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I want a candy cane too. Welcome back, Wolf Nation. I'm here with Tatum, a basketball player here at MHMS. So, Tatum, seeing that you are about to graduate eighth grade, how are you preparing to play high to play sports in high school? I'm um, really just getting the grind and keeping working hard, you know. And what are your expectations for the program next year? Really just more more competition and harder practices. Okay, well, thank you for your interview, and back to you, Wolf Nation. And now we'll be heading over to the high school. Welcome back, Wolf Nation. I'm here with Zenny Perez, who just enrolled in the Marine Corps. So how are you preparing for this next step in your life? I've been preparing more physically and mentally just to withstand the requirements. Of all the, of all the military branches, why the Marines? I chose this branch for the family structure and the stability that it will bring to my life. Do you plan to make a career in the military or only do one enlistment? I plan on doing multiple enlistments and more than likely retiring from the Marine Corps. Well, congrats and back to you, Wolf Nation. Hey, Wolf Nation, and welcome back. Today I'm here with your seniors from the Varsity Lady Wolves basketball team, uh, Ms. Jalen Gonzalez and Blanca Muniz. Okay, seeing y'all have played basketball for many years. What advice would you give upcoming high schoolers that would want to play? I would say always give 110% and play every game like it's your last. All right. Um, some advice I would give somebody who's wanting to play basketball is to always be a team player. All right. And seeing that y'all's district games are coming slowly to an end, what do you think your team has worked on this year? I think we worked on, um, even though we lost many people, we still tend to make the best with what we got. All right. And you? Um, something I think we improved on this year is our communication skills as a team. All right. Well, as district winds down, I wish y'all good luck and a great rest of your season. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> In five, four, three, two. Take Welcome back, Wolf Nation. I'm here with two of our varsity basketball boys, June and Landon Keck. What improvements have you made to better your season? Uh, I'd say... Uh, a lot of finishing, hustling, and our determination has gotten better towards the district. Yeah, I'm going to have to back him up on that. Our determination, you know, as we've got to the, uh, damn, 
a little short. Uh, as we've gotten, you know, to where we're five and zero in district, we most definitely have, um, you know, realized what we can do in this district. So we're, you know, you know, bettering ourselves each practice, and yeah, that's just about it. You know, just bettering ourselves, hustling. That's about it. And how does it feel to lead state in blocks and steals? Uh, it's kind of an honor, kind of blessed, but uh, nothing comes easy. Hard work, you know, and it's all about just getting in, putting in that work. Yep, most definitely. So uh, um, I did it last year too. Not gonna flex, but you know, and this year. But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's great. You know, you work at it though. It's something you got to work at, and uh, you know, you can't be settled with it because I, I want to be first in the nation, and I know he does too. So that's what we're working for now. So. And lastly, what's your most memorable moment in your high school career? Uh, mine would either have to be between last game against Jordanton with 10 steals or sophomore year when we went to the playoffs. Uh, I'm going to have to say mine is when I got my first career triple-double against Catula last year here home. That was, pretty, that was a pretty great day. Ten blocks in one game was awesome. So, And, yeah, as a junior, it was pretty, pretty cool. So. Okay, Landon, and as your coach said, you can't really make your free throws during the game. So can we Okay, what do you feel your team needs to work on for district? To work on for district, we need to limit our turnovers, make our layups, make our free throws, Seth, Deuce, June, Landon. Can we have you shoot one right now? Take 12. I don't know what that has to do with him making. And that concludes this week's episode. Come back next week for more Wolf Nation.